Right, I think this is probably um, the third one of these that I'm going to do in a month. So I'm guessing it's a common problem, so I'm going to show you what to do to rectify it. So if you come to your car, it's a Ford Transit by the way, and it's a manual, and you um, clutch pedal, <laughs> it goes like that. then it's highly likely that you need um, a new clutch master cylinder. So this clutch master cylinder, I don't know how well you can see that through that gap, but it just sits there. You can see the yellow thing moving. Look, look, this one's not even in. This one's actually come off the clutch pedal. So I can see the issue with this one. So this is the second one I found with the actual um, master off the um, pedal. So this could be your fault. And if it is, then for you, that should be a quick fix. So if you can get this, see if I can get it. So if you can get the end of this, um, struggling to reach it basically this hole pivots onto this part of the pedal um, you'll have to push the pedal down I might need two hands it will go but if you push the pedal in and it will slide on um, yeah this does not mean you need to replace your clutch kit it most like so you push the pedal in like that yeah, with two hands and then you can see how easily it goes on but um yeah this will be your issue you won't be able to start the car if that's the case because obviously you need to sink the clutch pedal to start the vehicle and even if you do start it you won't be able to engage gears because obviously you need to sink the clutch to be able to engage gears and if yours has just popped off like that you can put it back on but you will still probably need to replace it because there's a little um i don't know like a shim type of I can't find the best word for it but there's a little shim or so that sits inside that hole and um, yeah they wear off for some reason and then you'll find yourself with this issue but if yours has popped off you should be able to get it to move let's see if I can demonstrate right now I'm gonna try to start yeah <clears throat> it's gonna tell me Press the clutch to start. So I'm about to press the clutch. Yoink! All right, that's not cool. Let's see. Well, there's nothing to see. I know that's obviously not going to start it. And um, yeah, we're going to plug it back on. Let's see if I can prop this, and you can watch me do it. it shouldn't take me too long, to be fair. And then we're going to see if we got that clutch pedal. Yeah, that's good. And I can see the yellow stuff, and I can see the pivot on the pedal. So yeah. Alright, so this is what you want to do. Let me see. You should have a little clip there that sits in that groove that will keep that on. If you can find that clip or a placement, your clutch pedal should be fine-ish temporarily. But I'll show you when I get the new one what this one is now probably missing, which has also caused it to come on. But if you can find that clip, I won't be surprised if we find it to be fair. Yeah, we're going to need it for the replacement. But anyway, let's see if we can get the car started now, or the van, should I say. Mission is still on. Still going to tell us to press the clutch to start. We're going to try again pressing the clutch. Oh, it feels like a clutch now. Okay, let me show you, see? It's 
So that should um, work perfectly as a clutch, but like I say, that's going to be a temporary basis, isn't it? You're going to want to get that replaced, and I'll show you how to replace it as well. Alright, so where were we? I found that, well, I've had to go and get another clip. That's how it looks. I'm not sure where you can get it from other than um, the place you got the vehicle from, but... It does look like it's a, um, a component you could probably easily really replace from um, an accessory shop. But anyway, yeah, this is the um, component that's missing on this one. Uh, you can see this one's already ready to jump off again. So I'm going to see if I can put this in a little bit of a good spot for you. And see if I can um, just put this back on. Yeah, that should pretty much rectify this one. I've also got a video on how to replace this actual component because they do go faulty. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly. Now oh, where did it go? All right, there you go. That's the little think noise that you want, you want to um, just push it until it kind of forces itself on and then it's sitting down snug. I've got to give it a few goes but yeah that's on now and that should be secure. Let's see if we got movement. Oh, really? oh, a little bit. in that groove, that's what we want. Yeah, should be able to spin it around and stuff. It's in the groove. Maybe put a little bit of grease. Cool man, that's a fix. Hope that's helpful. You got no clutch pedal, Ford Transit. 68. That may be the issue. You may not need a clutch. <laughs>